Hello everybody, Alex here from Snake on Exotics and I'm not very well at all today. Not very well at all. Um, so we're not going to be too much with the animals today. I've done most of the jobs already. I've got Laura in to help me as well today. But what we are going to do, I'm going to give you some little tidbits of what the plans are for the future. So we're trying to get Laura a bit more involved in the shop. So uh, please like, subscribe, comment, share, ring the bell for me, and I'll give you the full plan of what we're thinking to do in the next year or so in the shop. Wahaha. Please like, subscribe, comment, share, ring the bell for me, and let's crack on and tell you what we're gonna do. So we've caught the kids' bugs we did. So earlier on in the week, Bebo was sick once on the, on the one day, Noah was sick once on the next day. Then there was two days when nothing happened, so we were like, sweet. But then, yesterday, Laura was sick on the night, and then she was sick all through the day, and I had to close the shop early and go after and look after the kids. And then last night, it hit me like a ton of bricks as well. Uh, I was only sick once last night, and I'm, I'm fine now, but I still feel really, really bad. I'm not being sick or anything, but uh, I know I'm poorly, <laughs> basically. But I've been, me and Laura have been having a chat about something yesterday, and I think we've had a cracking idea of what we can do for the future of the shop. So, let's tell you what it is. I've found that um, the two areas where the shop is struggling the most would be uh, insects, because I just don't have time for all the insects and stuff like that. Um, we still do a small amount, but we don't do a large amount. And plants. So I've only got a little tiny, tiny little plant area. Um, but where I got the idea from, I was speaking to Noah, and uh, he was watching something on TV, and I went, wow, I'm the uh, fish and reptile man in real life. And then my brain clicked, and went, oh, and your mum is the insect and plant woman. And I went, bidding. So what I've decided to do is, I'm offering Laura a couple of sections in the shop. So <clears throat> I'd be giving her the plant section to run, course would be improving it uh, and then giving her full control of the insects as well so be almost Laura's uh, plant and insectorium almost so it'd be almost like a little mini thing inside the shop um, she won't be there every day we're trying to work out one day a week where she can be in and then every other weekend she'll be in as well so what we're gonna do we're gonna show you what Laura's planning um, then we're gonna show she sets up her first tank for her first insect, uh, and then she's got to do some jobs on the one tarantula. So that is the plan. So I'll show you some of the stuff. So what we've got, what we've done is we're thinking about giving Laura this section here. So all these here, all these shelves are going to be Laura's insect section, and then we're going to be upgrading the plant section. So we're going to have a nice big shelf coming up here. Um, I'm planning water systems and stuff like that, um, so it rains and stuff, which will be pretty cool. Uh, as long as that's what Laura wants, I don't mind anything she comes up with. Ideas she comes up with, I'll help her build it and improve it and stuff like that. She's also done a little diagram to give you an idea of what she's planning, sort of thing. So that's the shelving and stuff like that. We've got we're even thinking about doing crystals and fossils as well. I thought that'd be a nice little niche for us as well. And it's got a little plant rack which is thinking, doing to be bonsai trees, cactuses, bioactive plants for all your setups. We're also going to be thinking about maybe doing more bioactive tanks that are built ready to go. So that'd be Laura would be scaping them for you um, and stuff like that. So that'd be really cool. We'll have tanks pre-made ready to go. So here's one of Laura's first projects. African train millipede. So she's made them a lovely little setup. So they don't normally go in hides, but they like a bit to bark and going in leaf litter and stuff like that. We do have some leaf litter as well that we're going to add. So she's going to jump that out and she's going to sprinkle some in as we speak. Got a nice little water bottle. You don't want anything too big because they can drown and stuff like that. But there we go. She's got a lovely bunch of dried leaves to be used in the enclosures. So she's just going to sprinkle them around. Because if you just place them around in places, they looks, it looks man-made. Man 
But if you just sprinkle around and let them fall where they fall, it looks a lot more random like it would in real life. Absolutely brilliant. There we go. So there's our African train millipede. Laura's first invertebrate. And then we've got a special job for you now. Or we've got a special job for you. Okay, so if we bring this over here. So I've passed on the last tarantula to Laura. And she was doing her inspection of it today. And she noticed he shed last night. So you got bum there of tarantula. Shed there of tarantula. So I'm not sure how we're going to get it without it collapsing and stuff like that. But uh, we're going to try our best. Okay, so I believe she's going to try first to wiggle down the tongs and see if she can grab it. Oh no, she's going for a different technique. She's taking the lid off. Okay. So there he is, right down the bottom. Oh, she's grabbed his shed. Any dirt that falls in, he'll flick out anyway. There we go, full tarantula shed. Absolutely fantastic. There he is. Yeah, there's his fangs, look at them bad boys. Don't want to mess with them. And he is still down the bottom chilling. Good. So he's got his little cave, he's still buried in. He will unbury himself food soon and he'll probably want to feed. Okay, so the cave door has dropped open a little bit. So it looks like we should be able to just drop a locust deep inside and she might eat it for us. There she is, you can see she's all fluffy. She's a curly haired tarantula. Okay, Laura's coming in. I'm in the way. It's hard to do film something and have someone do stuff with it at the same time. So just bear with us. Okay. I'm not going to get him further in. And then let him go. He should just wander in. You can poke on the bum if you wanted to. Pokey on the bum. Go on. Oh, oh. Do you think she's hungry? Give him another little poke. Oh, oh. Oh, there we go. She did some, oh no, she moved out the way. She didn't get him. It looked like she got him. But we'll just leave him in there and she'll smash him. I didn't anything with the plants yet. It's just been early days, yeah. It's only the idea I had two days ago, so. Um, I think it's gonna work really well though. Laura's gonna be more involved in the shop. She'll be down here more often. We'll have more stuff in the shop. Um, yeah, I think it's just gonna be better in the long run. Sorry, burps. So please, like, subscribe, comment, and share, ring the bell for me, because that's all the time I've got for today, because I am gonna go lie upstairs and have a nap while Laura watches the shop for 10 minutes. Oh, so if you're not watching a video, there should be one there. If you want to subscribe to the channel, it's up there. If you want to watch a playlist, it's up there. If you want to contribute, there's links in the description below. Apart from that, I'll see you in the future. Bye.